as well as can be expected. His leg is broken, and Lord knows what else. You go get some rest. If it's possible, I'd like to keep him still for the next few days. A rolling wagon... Well, we're all a little tired. So are the animals. We can rest them. I want you people to settle down. We're going to rest over for a couple of days. I understand there's a town about 30 miles from here. I can get out some mail, pick up supplies. The town's called Devil's Gap, I believe. Can I go with you, Link? I promise I won't be any trouble. Can I, Father? Well, now, I hate to lose such a valuable assistant, but... Uh... Oh, thanks! <laughs> On one condition. If there's a barbering shop in Devil's Gap, he gets a bat. A bat? A hot bat with soap. Well? All right. Good. I probably won't recognize you as my son when you get back. <laughs> Jamie, we'll leave with sun up tomorrow. Come on, you better get to bed now. Yes, sir. All these places look the same to me. Yeah, they don't change much. I don't think I'd like to live in any of them. Too cramped up. I was born in a town like this. Oh, I, I guess when you know the people and everything. That's all right, Jamie. I was glad to leave it. Howdy, friends. Howdy, do. Howdy. Who handles the mail around here? You're looking at him. Ives is a name. Ives? Jamie, take the animals across the street. Have them feed and water them. And you might drop this list off at the supply store. Tell them to start filling it. Fine looking lad. Yours? Nope. Uh, you can uh, throw your mail on the desk here. Now, how about a little drink? First one's on the house. I'll have a beer, but I'll pay for it. Well, suit yourself. Our Wells Fargo man's due pretty soon. Ives, uh, would you take the soup up to Mr. Newton's room and my comment? Take this to Mr. Newton. what you've come here for. But whatever it is, finish it and get out. Man in the store said you have supplies, Eddie. I changed my mind, Jimmy. We're staying over. And you're gonna stay in the hotel? That's right. Maybe you'll have a chance to get a bath and some sanitation. She's pretty. She's someone I knew once. She don't act like it. Like she's glad to see you or anything. Come on, let's get cleaned up. I got the feeling you two knew each other. I didn't say I didn't know him. I said he wasn't a friend. Get somebody to clean up in here. It's filthy. Is everything all right? Yeah? <laughs> oh! <laughs> you come to Mendes for a hot bath. You'll get a hot bath. <laughs> <sighs> Well, what are you going to do with that? Oh, you'll find out pretty quick. Uh, 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 
Skin like a hippopotamus, rough and dry. Uh, when is the last time you take a hot bath? Huh? Oh, Paducah. Paducah? Who is Paducah? Paducah, Kentucky. It's where I come from. Oh. <laughs> all right. Now you listen to me. You take this brush, you scrub yourself all over, just the way I show you, and then you wash your hands with plenty of soap and plenty of muscle. You understand? Sure. All right. Here. <sighs> Is everything okay? Yeah, fine. <sighs> See, that woman back there at the hotel, is she married to that man Ives? Ives? Oh! <laughs> no, no, senor. He wish he was married to her. Maria Macklin, a fine woman, I tell you. Macklin? Rance Macklin? See, si, it... You know Rance? Oh, one time. His brother's with him? Sure. Dan and Carrie. You know them, too? I knew them. So. You think your hair is clean now? Oh, yes, sir. Very clean. Uh, we find out, huh? Very good. Now, you go over there and dry yourself. Here's a towel. Go on. Go on, move. I ain't seen the Macklins around. Oh, they're around, all right. I see them right out yesterday on some uh, business, I think. So, let me see. Come, come back! Come back here! What is the matter with you, huh? Let me look at you. You pass inspection. Very good. Very good. You expect to stay in town long? Oh, I ain't made up my mind yet. Why? Well, there's nothing much here for a man to do. It's very quiet. Yeah, not much going on in this town for anyone. Empty hotel, no bank, no stage line. No law either, senor. It's not like the Macklins settle down in a dead town. What else? I live here, senor. What about Maria Macklin? Where does she fit in? She's married to Rance. Not much a woman can do. I feel for her that Rance, he can get pretty mean when he drinks. He can hit pretty good, too. Even with one arm. One arm? Sure. I fell shoot the other one off a long time ago. Why? Why would a woman like Maria marry him in the first place? <laughs> I wouldn't know that. Let's go, Link. <sighs> you go on, Jamie, back to the hotel. I'll be along in a couple of minutes. Sure ain't hurting my feelings none to get out of this place. <laughs> I've! I've! Think she can order me around like a two-bit flunky. Hold your horses, Grandpa. I'll be up there when I'm ready. Who is he? Well, you want to believe me, he owns all the gold in California. You mean he struck it rich out there? That's what he says. But if he's got more than two coins to rattle together in his pocket, I ain't seen him. Well, maybe if I was to, uh, go up there and see what he wants. You see, me and my father, we're going to California, and I'd sure like to talk to him. Sure, go ahead. But don't expect no tip for your trouble. A person could die before a body would think of looking in on him. Ives! Ives! It's about time, Karen. Who are you? Jamie McPheeters. Is there anything I can get you? Yes, there is. Tell that blonde head downstairs to bring me another pitcher of beer. That one's empty. Yes, sir. I'll get it for you. I ain't seen you before. You work here? No, I'm just spending the night in the hotel with Mr. Murdoch. Well, you bring me a pitcher of beer, and I'll give you a penny for your trouble. It ain't no trouble. And you don't have to give me anything. <laughs> What's the matter? You all right? Get on the table. Get him. Here. <laughs> Ah, 
Thank you, boy. Thank you. That was a sharp one. I'm all right. You can bring the beer now. Well, excuse me, sir. I don't think you should be drinking beer in your condition. What do you know about my condition? Well, it's real plain to see you're suffering from some kind of sickness. Maybe I could tell what it is if you'd let me examine you. Examine me? Well, sure. I'll just take off your boot and then put you in print. No, no. Leave the boots alone. If I'm going to die, I'm going to die with my boots on. You understand me? Yes, sir. You got a watch? Of course I have a watch. It's over there on the table. I'm going to take your pulse. So there's nothing to worry about, and this ain't going to hurt a bit. I've done this lots of times before. But rapid, I'd say. Just how long have you been practicing medicine? Well, I just kind of pick it up from my father, but he's better than I am. Oh, don't seem to be no fever. Let me see your tongue. What? Your tongue. It's purple. I ain't never seen nothing like it. Maybe it's because you just give me a purple pill. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't think of it. <laughs> now, if you let me unbutton your shirt, I'll listen no, to you. No, 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 we'll put that off till later. Believe me, I, I feel wonderful since you examined me. What did you say your name was? Jamie. Jamie McFeeters. Well, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance, Jamie McFeeters. My name is Knutson. Mark Von Knutson. Now, oh, that thing is settled. What about the picture of you we were talking about, huh? No. Sir, I don't think you're better in your condition, like I told now, you. Look, 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 look. Please, I know I'm going against your medical advice. But just this once, huh? How about it? Half a pitcher? Well, all right, I'll settle for that. Half. Yeah. Like my father says, cutting down is better than cutting out. Cutting down is better than cutting out. Give me another one. Close the place up. I'm going to bed. I'll take care of it. Good night. Good night.
one little trouble? Yes, ma'am. My horse broke his leg two days ago, and I had to shoot it. Two days ago? You've been walking all that time? Yes, ma'am. Who does the hiring around here, ma'am? Oh, that'd be Mr. Macklin. You mind if I help myself to some of the water, ma'am? That's what it's there for. And you don't have to keep manning me the way I work around here myself. I... My father works for Mr. Macklin. I killed a couple of rabbits on the way. I ate. I'll take that. Oh, I can. I can handle them both, ma'am. My name's Maria. Maria Gerard. Link my note. Where are you from? Oh, no place special. Where are you going? I hadn't thought about it much. Mister? You can say the rest. The rest? Saddle tramp. It didn't say that. No, you didn't. You can put the pails down here. I'll take it to Mr. Macklin. I'd like to pick up my saddle first. Pay for it, huh? You made me lose that race. I ought to take it out of your hide. You fellas just about run all over me. Well, if I knew I was going to lose, I would have. Let's make him pay for it. I don't care who pays for it as long as I get paid. All right, ten bucks, kick in. I'm sorry, I can't help you fellas. Well, I am here looking for a job to pick up a horse. A real saddle bum, huh? Pick up your saddle and move out. He's been walking for two days. He had to shoot his horse. Then he can move for two more days. Get moving before I throw you off. Man should always do what he feels. <laughs> well, did you hear what I heard? Yes, I heard, but I saw him first. I don't want him. Oh, no, wait a minute. I'm your older brother. Oh. I got first choice. <laughs> okay, mister. You picked me. Anytime you're ready. Anybody want to take a bet? Two to one? Suck your money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't tell me you're gonna get scared and crawl. No, just looking for a safe place to put the saddle. Maybe he's not so yellow after all. <laughs> looking for a job? That's right. I'm Ray Macklin. I own this place. You're hired. My son sometimes let things run away with him. Rand said he'd come into him. Nobody asked him to come here. I saw what happened. Get yourself a place in the bunkhouse and wash up. You can eat with us for the time anyhow. After dinner, see that he gets a horse for himself. I'll take care of it.
Who's the flunky that's getting me a horse? That's my father. Well, there's no fool like a man that puts his foot in his own mouth. Where's the bunkhouse? I'll say it again. I don't like a saddle tramp eating at the same table with me. Sashaying around like he owns the place. Why can't he stay with the rest of the men up at the lion cabin? As long as I'm alive, I'll decide who goes in the stage. You mad at Murdoch because he licked you. I'll tell you, I could use three more like him. He's the best hand I ever had. You're late. Those are cold. I've saved some hot for you. Let Jose do it. You don't have to wait on him. I think you'll like these better. Thanks. I'd like to go to town tomorrow, if you don't mind. I want to pick up a few personals for myself. As a matter of fact, there are a few things you can do for me while you're in town. You can take some money to the bank. Cash sale or some cattle. Paul, me and Ransom Carey are going in town in the morning. We can take that money to the bank. I've already said Murdoch could do it. All right, I'm not afraid to say it. How long have you known him? Three weeks? How do you know you can trust him? It's my money, I'll take my chances. came back by itself, and so we went out looking for you. Rance, too? No, Jose and myself. <sighs> I took my clothes off. I did. You were unconscious, and there was no one here to help me. Now, I'm going to put this bandage around you, but you'll have to help me. Uh, it'll hurt. I think one of your ribs is cracked. Oh, it hurts ain't no to me. You have to lift up, because I have to slide this under. Uh. your breath on me? I'm not sorry. 
This isn't good, Link. You have to get out of here before before it's too late. It's already too late, Willie. You, you know it. It, and I don't it can't know. be. I have to marry Rance. Oh, I've seen you look at him. There's nothing there. I've seen your face when he touches you. You look like you could crawl out of your skin. Maria, you can't marry him. I have to. Why? Because of your father. Macklin will see that your father doesn't starve. Maria, you've got something coming to you, too. You're a woman. You're not made of stone. If you stay here, there's only one way it can end. There are three of them. They nearly killed you today. How'd you know about that? I found the wire. If it had been any higher, you would be dead right now. I would rather turn the stone than have that happen. Maria, you know this had to happen from the day I walked on this ranch. Oh, no. I... I... Oh, why did you have to come here? Why aren't you out there mending that fence? I'm leaving, Mr. Macklin. And I came in to settle up. I'm sorry you're going, Murdoch. And there's nothing to settle up. Well, I owe you for a horse. You don't owe me for anything. It's just too bad it had to work out this way. Well, a man can't go against his own sons. Goodbye, Murdoch. I, uh... I just happen to be selfish enough to want her for Rance. He needs her. Her father needs her, your son needs her, everyone needs her. Anybody ever think what she might need? You said it yourself. A man can't go against his own sons. Sure, Mr. Murphy. Goodbye. to say goodbye. That's what you want, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Turn around. I said everything there was to say last night. Please go. Ah, Maria. Go away, Link. There's nothing you can say that'll change anything. Saving yourself for Rance will make it better. Don't talk to me like that. You're hurting me. I'm going to keep on hurting you till you tell me what you really feel. Oh, no! What are you afraid of? Me. Only me. Don't you understand? Oh, Maria, I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. Thank you. 
you're shaking all over. Mascaleros have a word for this. Testarte. It means a lot of things, but mainly it's something between two people. It's when everything's right between a man and a woman. Because nothing's wrong. Like us. Now you tell me I'm wrong. No, Nick. Oh. No. No. soon, we can make Lynchburg in about a day and a half. And we can be married then. Married? Sure. What do you think I was talking about? And you don't think I'm going to leave you here for rents? You know, Maria, it's going to be rough to start with. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know where I'm going to go. But we'll make it. I'm not afraid. Well, I guess we better go tell him. No, no, not that way. I'll tell just my own father and no one else. Then tonight we can leave when everybody's asleep. I have my own horse. It kind of makes me feel like a sneak. I know, I don't like it either. But if anything happened to you... I want it to happen to me, too. I'll be waiting for you. Oh, I think I've been waiting for you all my life. She's dead. You killed her yourself. There's no sense in killing me. I ain't gonna bring her back. Either one of you fires a shot. I'm gonna finish him off. All right. We're not shooting. Carrie, hold it. Get out of here.
out of here, Link. I don't want to see you. I'm going to talk to you. You let me in or I'll break this door down. You are a fool. Go away. I'm coming in. Wait. Just like that. What'd you expect? That I'd fall into your arms? Well, I thought it might mean something to you, yes. Why? Would it change anything? Would it wipe out five years for the fact that you left me to rants? You thought I ran out on you. I waited for you. You never came. What else was I to think? So you married him. You've forgotten that I was engaged, Rance? You mean traded. Just so your father could hang on to that job of his. You were gone. Rance was there. A bird in hand, huh? You didn't come back. I waited for you, but you didn't come back. You had to take his arm off. It's like a man out of his mind has kept calling for me. His father and his brothers came to me. My own father didn't have to say anything, but I knew what he wanted. I married him months later. What happened to the Macklin Ranch? Well, Mr. Macklin died, and the boys took it over. Ran it into the ground in a year, borrowed on it until there was nothing left. Carrie got into a gunfight, killed a man. So when the marshals came for him, we all lit out. Just left the place, never went back. Maria, why do you stay with him? I married him. Do you love him? take you out of here. And how far do you think we'd get? I'm going to kill Rance for what he's done to you, to us. Or he'll kill me here, someplace else. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to kill him. What makes you think that I want him dead? What's he have to do to you before you've had enough? If I ever leave him, it would not be for you. You're lying. Oh, no, you're the one who's running from the truth, Link. The past is gone. We cannot bring it back. Five years, Link, five years, I have been dead to you, and you have been dead to me. So if you really want to do something for me, you can get out now before Rance comes back, and it all starts over again, and this time for nothing. I'll be leaving in the morning. And you won't have to worry, I won't be back. You outsmarted yourself that time. You have to jump. I hate to do this to you, but... Oh, dang it, dang it. How much now? 
Well, I figure I owe you $25,035, You'll have to take my IOU. Uh, I know what you're thinking. And I'm a big bag of wind. Oh, no, sir, I... Well, it's only natural, it's only natural. You say, what's a millionaire like me doing in a free bag like this? Well, I'll tell you. They took me off the stage five weeks ago. Five weeks ago, mind you. And I was headed back east to buy me a mansion. A mansion? Yes, Jamie. But let me tell you something. This ain't no place to get sick. The people around here are miserable. Jamie! That's Mr. Murdoch. I'm coming, Link! Come on, time to get going. This is Mr. Newton. Mr. Marquand Newton. And he's a millionaire. Oh, he's a millionaire, is he? How do you do? Howdy. Come on. Goodbye, Jamie. Goodbye, Mr. Newton. And I'll write you. Yeah. gentlemen. Thanks. Gee, ain't it too bad we gotta go just as we're getting to know everybody? Well, that is the time to leave. Before you come to know them too well. Going someplace, Link? Murdoch? Rant's going to be riding in pretty soon. Now, you wouldn't want to miss seeing him, would you? Don't change much, does he? Just as ugly as ever. Take his gun, Ives. Now, there's no need for that. I didn't come in here looking for trouble. Get the gun, Ives. All right, Murdoch. Inside with you. What are you going to do? Never mind, Sonny. You're going inside with him. Go on. Just do as he says. All right, Murdoch, get over there by the bar. Now, leave him be, Ives, and get us a bottle of whiskey. We've been riding all night. <clears throat> Sit down, Murdoch. Sit down. Come on, Ives, come on. I ain't nothing like good whiskey when you've been eating dust all night. Link, how did you happen to show up here? I'm with a wagon train. We came in for supplies. Must have been quite a surprise for the both of you. Maria, start moving some fiddles. Say, this boy has nothing to do with this. Let him get back to the wagon train. I ain't gonna leave you, Link. What? Son, you mind your manners. You talk when you're spoken to. What do you think, Carrie? You're inviting trouble any other way. If that boy don't show up at the wagon train, they'll all be out after him. Well, there's something in what he says, Dan. Yeah, could work the other way, too. The boy shows, and then the whole wagon train comes back looking for Murdoch. No, I think the boy stays. We'll let Rance decide what he wants to do with him when he gets back. Have you got any other questions, Link? You're calling the shots. <laughs> I swear I've never seen you so obliging, Murdoch. Maria, you got them fiddles ready? It's on the fire. It'll take a few minutes. Well, in that case, I think I'll just wash up. I'll take that belt. 
I've told you for the last time. What? Let him alone. He's only a boy. <laughs> Get him off of my back. If he causes me any more trouble, I'm going to throw him in that storeroom with Murdoch. I'll watch him. Well, you watch him good, Maria. If he tries to sneak off with that wagon train for help, I'm not going to wait for Rance to get back. Now go on, get out of here. What do you think they're going to do to Link? I don't know. You used to be friends with him, didn't you? Yes, a long time ago. He likes you, I can tell. How come you don't like him anymore? Just wash your dishes. Was that before you married Rance? I think you ask too many questions you don't understand. I do understand. I think I do. They're mad at Link because they think you still like him, and that's why they want to kill him, don't they? Are you going to let him? Are you? Eyes. Take this tray up to Mr. Newton's room. Oh, I can take it. You better stay right here. Oh, I just want to play a game of checkers with him. You know what'll happen to Link if you try and run away. Oh, I know. You don't have to worry none about me, honest. If it was me, I'd tuck him in with his pal where I'd know where he'd be. Please? All right. Go on, take it. Thanks. Thank you, Mrs. Macklin. Them lily-livered skunks. They're a bunch of tin horns. You got a gun? Oh, if I only did, I'd show them. Can I use your window? Go ahead, help yourself. Excuse me. Here. Do they know that you're out? They think I'm in Mr. Newton's room. I want to do something to help you. You can. Go find yourself a horse and get back to the wagon train as fast as you can. But they're going to kill you. Maybe if you had a gun. Do like I tell you while you got the chance. Not move. I ain't going to let them kill you, Link. Jamie. Jamie. like hacksaws. What are you doing here? It's Mr. Murdoch. He's in trouble and I gotta get him a gun. A gun? Now you get out of here. Come on, before you get me in trouble. Go on, get out. But if I don't get him a gun, they'll kill him. Please, Mr. Mendez, you gotta help me. And if I help you, they'll kill me. Mendez, he can help nobody. Go on, get out of here. Besides, I got no gun. Nobody around here has got guns. The Macklins, they see to that. Get out. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. Fives. What's all he yelling about? Well, the kid, he's supposed to be in Knudsen's room. Well, he better be there. Well, Mr. Macklin, you play checkers? Well, I called you. Now, why didn't you answer? Because we weren't finished the game. He was coming right down. 
It's an outrage, busting in on a man in his own room. What kind of a place are you running? Go on, Ives. I'll, I'll tell you what kind of a place we're running here, old man. It's a money place. You better be getting yours up here pretty soon. And, Sonny, I want you to stay put. Now, do you understand me? You stay put. Oh, give me the water, Jamie. <coughs> I'll be all right. Where did you go? I tried to get Mr. Mendez to give me a gun. He said he didn't have one. I bet he was just too scared. Scared? They're a bunch of sheep, that's what they are. The Macklin's have got all of them shaking in their boots. Blasted high. It's blasted hot. If only I could get going again, I'd, I'd blast them off the face of the earth. But I can't, Jimmy. I can't. It's impossible, Jimmy. I can't. I dang it. Dang it, Jamie. I... It's been a long day. I'm turning in. Ives, you be sure that crossbar's in place before you go up. I'm gonna turn it in. Oh, I think I'll stay down here for a while. If I get tired, I'll call you out. You're not worried about him. You can't get out of there, not without help. Why are you thinking about Maria? She liked him pretty good at one time. I just want to be sure she doesn't still feel the same way. Well, tomorrow's the big day. It's a big day for Rance. Been waiting for it for six years. Nothing. I can handle Rance. The way you handle him when he's drunk? 
A while ago, I was poisoning you. What changed your mind? You know, Maria, one minute you're ready to lay a man out like he was dirt, the next minute you risk your Get life. Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out Let's not get ourselves killed before we're ready. gun on you, you'll make it easier on her by just sliding it out here on the end of the bar. But first. Now we've got the boy upstairs. Stay right there, Maria. Pretty looking couple, ain't they? Yeah, so that chokes me up. Too bad one of them's our sister-in-law. You shouldn't have done it, Maria. Rance ain't gonna like it one bit. Shouldn't be too long now. Storeroom together. Looked like they'd been in there a long time, Rance. She tried to help him get away. The old bunch. Just like old times. Link, Rance, Maria. 
Good old Maria. Faithful Maria. <laughs> you see that? You know something, Link? She never was. She never was mine. Shut up. Why so touchy, Link? It's all the family. We've got nothing to hide. Go on, Maria. Tell him. Tell him how you sit up every night crying because it's me instead of him. Go on, tell him. What do you expect, Rance? You knew why I married you and never lied about it. You knew I couldn't stand the sight of you. You took me just the same. I tried to be a wife to you. You wouldn't let me. I even tried to forget Link. But you kept bringing him up. I guess it made you feel good to take someone who wasn't yours. It did, honey. It sure did. The one thing I'm sorry for is that I didn't kill you. Sure. Instead, you made me half a man. You know what it's like to live in this country with only a left arm? You ever tried drawing on a man with your left hand? You run. Even if it's a kid, you run. But I learned. I learned good. It's too bad I ain't gonna get the chance to find out. What's fair is fair. I'll give you the same chance you gave me. Give me his gun. It's waiting for you on the street. Take care of it, Ives. Sure. Rants don't like to be kept waiting. Link. I'm sorry I got you into this, Maria. I love you, Link. Maria! That makes us even. Your left hand, my left hand. Even Stephen. Man couldn't want any more than that. Here's your gun. Go get it. the boys worry you none. They're just here to see it's a fair fight. <laughs> Go on, pick it up.
one shave you don't have to pay for, senor. <laughs> should know that, Doctor. Is he gonna die, Link? A man's gotta die sometime. I've lived my life. You don't have to feel sorry for me, Jamie. No, sir. Got my boots on, too. Yes, sir. <laughs> Take them off, Jamie. Off? But I thought you said... Take them off. Easy. We certainly show them Macron something, didn't we? You did just fine. You know, if I were to tell someone about it, they'd never believe me. Never believe me. Like you didn't believe I was a millionaire. <coughs> In the left boot, Jamie. A paper. Read it. United States. United States Bureau of Mines, Sacramento, California. This is to certify well, this is a duly recorded claim on a gold mine. Gold mine? El Dorado. The real one. Then you are a millionaire. Sure, <laughs> Jimmy. You keep it. We couldn't let the Macklins get it. You're a gold mine boy. <sighs> Mr. Newton? Mr. Newton! Ain't it funny, Father? Here we are going to California to find gold, and we already found it. Better not count your nuggets before they're hatched, Jamie. Mr. Newton told me. He ain't no liar. Father, he was a wonderful man. I'm sure he was, Jamie. And nothing can change that, can it? No, sir. But just the same, I know there's gold there. It's a long trip ahead of us. Think you can make it? I can make it. Stay beside me, Luke. 